Ever wondered what it feels like to wake up and realize you're financially free, that you're not tied to a nine to five job or drowned in debt? Today, you're about to embark on a journey to financial freedom, a journey that's not just about wealth creation, but personal development and financial literacy. A journey that unlocks the secrets to passive income and financial success. So buckle up, elite minds, for the ride of your life to financial liberation. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Today, we're diving deep into the blueprint for financial freedom, and it all starts with setting life goals. The journey to wealth creation is a marathon, not a sprint. And like any marathon, it requires a well-plotted map. This map is your life goals. These goals need to be more than just vague aspirations. They need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For instance, instead of saying, I want to be rich, try, I want to accumulate a million dollars in the next 10 years through passive income streams. The importance of this specificity cannot be overstated. It gives your financial journey focus and direction and makes the process of wealth building more manageable. And here's an interesting tidbit for you. Did you know that people who write down their goals are 42% more likely to achieve them? That's the power of intentionality. So elite minds, as we embark on this journey to financial success and freedom, let's start with the destination in mind. Set those goals, make them smart, and write them down. Remember, elite minds, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Moving on to the next step, it's time to make a budget, elite minds. Now let's talk about the importance of a monthly budget in managing finances effectively. A budget is like a roadmap for your money. It's a tool that helps you understand where your money is going and how it's being spent. And it's a way to plan for the future and make sure you're saving enough to reach your financial goals. One popular method to consider is the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests that 50% of your income should go to necessities, 30% to wants, and the remaining 20% to savings and debt repayment. It's a simple and effective guideline that can help you balance your spending and savings. Remember, a budget isn't about restriction. It's about making your money work for you, ensuring that every dollar has a purpose. It's about taking control of your finances and building a solid foundation for wealth creation. A well-planned budget is the first step to wealth creation. Next, we tackle the monster that is credit card debt. It's a common snare, a trap that can drag you down into financial quicksand. It's easy to swipe that plastic, but the trouble begins when the bill arrives. Paying the minimum due, that's a ticket to debt city, my friends. The revolving door of credit card debt can seem endless, but it's crucial to break that cycle. High interest rates are the silent killers of your financial health, and they thrive on revolving debt. Every dollar you pay in interest is a dollar not working towards your wealth creation. So how do you slay this monster? You pay your credit card balances in full, every month, no exceptions. This isn't just about avoiding interest, it's about financial discipline. It's about saying no to the lure of easy credit and yes to the rewards of financial freedom. And remember, as the good book says, the borrower is slave to the lender. So let's not be slaves, elite minds. Let's be the masters of our financial destiny. Now, let's delve into the magic of automatic savings. Picture a vessel that fills itself up, drop by drop, without you having to lift a finger. That's the essence of automatic savings. By setting aside a portion of your income as soon as you receive it, you're ensuring that vessel, your wealth, continues to fill up. It's a simple yet powerful strategy for wealth creation. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the average millionaire saves 20% of their income? That's right and a lot of them use automatic savings to achieve this. They've set it up so that a slice of their earnings goes straight into savings, almost as if it was never part of their disposable income to begin with. The beauty of automatic savings is that it takes the decision-making out of the equation. It's easy to say, I'll save what's left after I've paid all my bills and had a little fun. But let's be real. Most of the time, there's not much left. By saving automatically, you're making a conscious decision to pay your future self first. Think of automatic savings as your silent partner in the quest for financial freedom. It's a tool that allows you to build wealth consistently and predictably. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about getting rich for sure. 
And the best part, it's a form of passive income. Your money is working for you, even when you're not. So whether you're saving for a rainy day, your next big investment, or that dream vacation, automatic savings can help you get there faster and with less effort. It's like having a secret weapon in your wealth building arsenal. Automatic savings is your ticket to passive income and financial success. Time to dive into the world of investing, elite minds. Why invest, you ask? Well, investing is like planting a tree. You water it, nurture it, and over time it grows, bearing fruits for years to come. The same goes for your money. When you invest, you're planting your money in a fertile field of potential growth. Now let's talk about a magic word, compound interest. Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. And he wasn't kidding. Compound interest is the process where the interest you earn on your investment starts earning interest itself. It's your money working harder for you. Imagine this. If you invested $100 at a 10% annual interest rate, at the end of the first year, you'd have $110. Now, the magic happens in the second year. You don't just earn 10% on your initial $100, but on the entire $110. That's the power of compound interest. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. If you start investing at 25 instead of 35, those 10 extra years could make a significant difference to your final pot of wealth. It's never too early or too late to start. Remember, the best time to start investing was yesterday. The second best time is now. Don't let fear of the unknown hold you back. Step into the world of investing and let your money do the hard work for you, creating a path towards financial freedom. Up next, we're talking about the importance of watching your credit score. Picture your credit score as a financial reputation, a number that lenders use to determine your reliability. A high credit score tells the world you're trustworthy, opening doors to lower interest rates and better terms for loans and credit cards. Now, how do you boost this magical number? First, pay your bills on time. It might sound simple, but consistency is key. Second, keep a low balance on your credit cards. Maxing out your cards can hurt your score. Third, don't close unused credit cards. The age of your credit is a factor in your score, so keep those old accounts open. And let's not forget about checking your credit report regularly. This allows you to spot any errors and dispute them, keeping your score in the best shape possible. In essence, maintaining a good credit score is like keeping a well-tuned car. It requires regular checkups and good habits. And just like a well-tuned car, a good credit score can take you places, specifically towards the path of financial freedom. A good credit score is a stepping stone to financial freedom. Now let's explore the art of negotiation. You see, negotiation is not just about haggling at a flea market or bargaining for a better car deal. It's a vital skill that can help you save money in various aspects of your life. Whether it's negotiating your bills, asking for a discount at your favorite store, or even bargaining for a raise at work, negotiation can significantly impact your financial freedom. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that negotiation can save you up to 30% on your purchases? That's right. A successful negotiation can cut a hefty chunk off your expenses. So the next time you're making a purchase or signing a contract, don't hesitate to negotiate. But remember, negotiation is an art. It requires finesse and tact. It's about finding a win-win situation where both parties are satisfied. So don't be confrontational. Instead, be respectful, understanding, and patient. And most importantly, be prepared. Research. Know your facts and stand your ground. Remember, elite minds, the art of negotiation is one of the wealth secrets of the rich. Knowledge is power, and that applies to your finances too. Imagine trying to navigate a new city without a map. That's what it's like to manage your money without understanding the basics of finance. It's not just about knowing how to save or invest, but understanding the larger financial landscape. From knowing how interest rates affect your savings, to understanding the impacts of inflation on your purchasing power. These are the tools that equip you to make informed decisions. Just as you wouldn't hand over the keys to your car to someone who doesn't know how to drive, you shouldn't handle your finances without the proper knowledge. 
It's about more than just wealth creation. It's about financial success and stability. So how do you get educated? You can start by reading financial news, attending financial literacy workshops, or even taking online courses. As you deepen your understanding, you'll be better equipped to distinguish between good and bad financial advice, and you'll have the confidence to take charge of your wealth-building journey. Remember, financial literacy is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Let's talk about the importance of maintaining your property. You see, when you take good care of your possessions, they tend to last longer, saving you money in the long run. Think of it this way. A well-maintained car not only runs smoother, but also incurs fewer repair costs over its lifetime. The same goes for your home, appliances, or any other valuable items you own. Here's a fun fact. Regular maintenance can extend the life of your possessions by up to 50%. That's right, 50%. That's like getting half of your investment back just by taking good care of what you own. This principle applies not only to physical properties, but also to investments and other financial assets. Regular checkups and updates can ensure they're performing at their best. So whether it's scheduling regular service for your car, keeping your home in top shape, or reviewing your investment portfolio, remember to maintain your property regularly. This habit not only preserves the value of your assets, but also prevents unnecessary expenses. Remember, elite minds, a penny saved is a penny earned. Next, we discuss the secret to wealth creation, living below your means, it's not about depriving yourself of life's pleasures, but about making thoughtful choices. It's about the art of distinguishing between needs and wants. A need is something essential for survival, while a want is something that would be nice to have. Prioritizing spending on needs over wants is a cornerstone of financial success. Consider this, every dollar you don't spend today can grow into more wealth tomorrow. This is the power of compound interest and passive income at work. It's about being content with what you have, while strategically planning for what you want. It's about making your money work for you, instead of you working for your money. Living below your means helps you accumulate wealth over time. It minimizes financial stress, allows for greater financial freedom, and opens doors to opportunities you might not otherwise have. It's a habit that builds a strong foundation for financial literacy and wealth building. Remember Elite Minds, it's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. Now let's explore why you might need a financial advisor. A financial advisor is like a personal coach for your wealth. Their role is to guide you through the labyrinth of financial decisions, ensuring you make the right moves to reach your financial freedom. They help you devise a tailored financial plan, taking into account your current financial status, your goals, and your risk tolerance. They can assist you in setting up automatic savings, investing wisely, and planning for retirement. In addition to this, a financial advisor can also provide expert advice on tax planning, insurance, and estate planning. They can help you understand complex financial concepts and make informed decisions. Moreover, a financial advisor can be your accountability partner, keeping you on track towards your financial goals. They can help you stay disciplined avoid common financial pitfalls, and negotiate better terms on financial products. Remember Elite Minds. Sometimes the best investment you can make is in expert advice. And finally, we talk about the most important wealth, your health. This isn't just a cliche, but a fundamental truth that many overlook in their pursuit of financial success. Health is the cornerstone of all wealth, and without it, all the riches in the world mean very little. Investing in your well-being isn't just about feeling good, it's a strategic move for wealth creation. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep are non-negotiable components of a healthy lifestyle. They not only enhance your productivity, but also help avoid costly medical bills in the future. Here's a fun fact for you. Regular exercise can save you up to $2,500 a year in healthcare costs. That's right. Staying fit is like adding a bonus to your wealth building plan. So, as you work towards financial freedom, don't forget to prioritize your health. Remember, Elite Minds, health is the real wealth. Congratulations, Elite Minds. You've made it to the end of your journey to financial freedom. Let's recap what we've learned. 
we've set life goals, crafted a budget, and learned how to eradicate credit card debt. We've discussed the power of automatic savings, the importance of investing, and how a good credit score is your golden ticket. We've mastered the art of negotiation and understood the need for financial education. We've also learned to maintain our property and live below our means. We've sought the advice of financial advisors and remembered that our health is our wealth. Now here's a bonus tip for you. Always keep learning. Financial markets change, new investment opportunities arise, and laws that affect your money evolve. Staying informed is key to maintaining and growing your wealth. If you're a true elite mind and you found value in this guide, comment financial freedom below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences as you embark on your wealth building journey. Thank you for joining us today, Elite Minds. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Wealth Minds Elite for more insights into wealth building. Until next time, keep striving for financial freedom.